I had testicular cancer last year. I finished my treatment. I'm in remission. It's really nice to be back on stage. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Oh, I appreciate the people who clapped. I also respect the people who are like, we're not here for a fucking TED talk. So... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just do the jokes, mate. It's called the Comedy Festival. So... So much ignorance around testicular cancer. Because I told a friend of mine, he goes, oh, so do you have to call up your previous sexual partners? <laughs> no. I'm not going to call up all the women I've slept with and be like, hey, you might want to get your balls checked, okay? <laughs> I'm not making that one phone call. <laughs> So I lost a testicle, and I gotta say, one huge advantage of losing a testicle, finally feel comfortable in skinny jeans. Finally. <laughs> Up until now, I thought my jeans were too tight. Nah. I had one too many testicles. So that was the problem. I wanna lose the other one so I can wear jeggings. That's the plan. You can get a replacement, and there's so much ignorance. I told a friend of mine I can get a replacement. He goes, oh, you mean like from a donor? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not getting a donor testicle. You know, because for that to work, it has to be a genetic match. It would have to be dad's testicle. No. <laughs> I'm not putting dad's testicle in me. I can't put the thing that I came out of back inside me. Like some fucked reverse babushka doll, you know? <laughs> and what if I have kids in the future? What would I say to my future kids? Look, kids, look. I don't know which ball you came out of. <laughs> There's like a one in two chance that we're siblings. One in two chance. 